What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another thrift with me. This one is going to be a little bit different. It's actually going to be over the span of two days. Today we are only going to go to two different thrift stores. We're going to a Beacon's Closet in Williamsburg and then another Beacon's Closet in East Williamsburg. It is a Friday so hopefully we're going to find some stuff this weekend. Not too sure. Sometimes the weekends it's a little busy at the thrift stores. We won't do as well. It's all picked over. Yeah so hopefully we can find some things. Obviously we're going to be looking for ourselves but also for our business. If you guys are new here my boyfriend and I, this is Spencer. We own a business where we buy and resell luxury clothing, shoes, and accessories. So we're always on the hunt for that. We go to thrift stores and we also have clients that we like buy things off of. But we are getting a late start to the day. It's already 2.30. Thankfully, there's not a line at Beacon. Sometimes there is, especially later on in the day. They only let so many people in at a time. But before we go in, I wanted to show you guys my outfit as much as I can because I'm obsessed. I got this jacket. If you watched my last vlog, I showed it. I got it from Run the Runway. It's so cute. It's like this Sherpa Spencer thinks I look like little <laughs> little both. <Pope. laughs> I, I can't say you, that I, seriously. <laughs> I don't think you look like her. I, I think it's like inspired. Okay, uh, he thinks <laughs> my jacket is inspired by little Bopi. <laughs> so that's where we're at today. That really made me feel very confident. Um, and then I'm just wearing my Sandro New York City sweater, which I've actually been wearing a lot lately. I'm also wearing my Zating and Voltaire bag that I got from Rent the Runway. I absolutely love this. I need to find a bag that's this size because it's so practical. And then I'm wearing my platform Converse. <laughs> so anyways, we need to go in the thrift store. This intro is getting weird, but I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and I'll catch up with you when we get inside. So far, I only found a few things for myself. Pretty typical, go figure. But I found a few graphic t-shirts I really like. This is only NY, it's got like a little app on it. It says 1997 on the back. I was born in 98, but whatever, it's still cute. It's a nine bang t-shirt, I'm so excited about it. I think it's so cute, it'll be nice to wear just in the summer, like a good everyday basic. Also found this Brandy Melville, it's only $9, so I think I'm gonna grab it. Just like a nice everyday layering thing. It's like a long sleeve, it says New York, so I thought it was super cute and for nine bucks. I feel like it's silly to pass. I'm excited to find this Lola Johnson crochet top, but they're asking 35, which is just too much for like a short sleeve t-shirt. So I think I'm gonna pass, unfortunately. So I've got a couple new finds. One is this Balenciaga jacket. It's really cool. It has this like cinch waist, which is really nice and really flattering. And it also has this like stitching detail here, which is cool. And then I also found this Mackage coat, which they have marked as is. I think it's just because of the pilling though. So once we clean all that up, it does have like these cool shoulder leather patches, which is neat. So I think we're gonna get both of these. And this is a brand I just learned. So I ended up looking it up because I thought the tag looked really cool. It's a nice leather jacket and comps seem to be really good. Sorry, I'm like trying to get it to focus, but they've sold for like 265, 275, like around two to 300. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab it and try it out. It's a really nice leather jacket. I love the like belted detailing here and snaps and everything. It's really cool. This Ghani dress is super cute. It has like a shoulder cutout detail thing going on, but I swear all the thrift stores in Brooklyn mark Ghani up so much. It's not even just Beacons. It's like literally all the thrift stores in Brooklyn. So always is so frustrating because then I can't get it. Really excited to find this. We just listed our first pair of Silver Lake jeans actually today, so it's kind of funny, but definitely getting nice. These Babaton pants are so cute. They're like the most beautiful periwinkle color, and I love the belt and like the pleated waist, but they have a stain, so I don't think I'm gonna get them. I also think they might be a little too small, but I'm so sad. So I don't think I'm getting this, but I just had to show you because I think it's so cool. It's Fleur du Monde. It's this like patchwork silk top. It's like long sleeves. It's so gorgeous. I just feel like I really don't need it and it's kind of a lot. I think it's like 35, so I think I'm gonna pass. Really excited about this find. It's like a corduroy crop shirt. It's actually hooded, but it's Alexander Wang and I find that anything with a logo does really well. I feel like that goes with most brands, but especially this brand. 
Okay, it is getting so busy in here. I had to come to dresses just to get away from everyone. It's so packed. And not to mention I'm like sweating in this heavy coat trying to dig. Literally thrifting is a workout. I don't care what anybody says. Like trying to flip and root through these racks. Like these racks are really full and it's super heavy. Like you would think I'd be buff by now. So update, not having much luck in the dresses. So I think we're probably gonna head out soon. Plus it's already four somehow. I feel like today has gone by so quick. Good morning guys, it is Saturday. As you can tell, we ended up not going to the other Beacons closet. It just ended up getting too late. We didn't wanna leave Lucy alone too long because later on last night, we ended up going to dinner with our friends and we also went to a comedy club. We had so much fun, but we didn't get home until late. It was like 2 a.m. So I don't even know how we're up and functioning today. Obviously we're not dressed as nice as yesterday. Part of that being because we didn't get much sleep, but also the fact that it is absolutely freezing, freezing in New York City. Like, it says it feels like, I don't know if it's gonna focus, but feels like zero degrees. So, that's what we're dealing with. This morning it said feels like negative two. Thankfully, Spencer walked Lucy, so I didn't have to. But first stop for today is going to be Buffalo Exchange. Today is the day that their sale goes from 25% off to 50% off. So, we're hoping that there's gonna be some items left for us to pick up and hopefully some good sales. My hands have been so dry lately though, so I'm gonna have to put on some lotion. We always use this one from Trader Joe's. It's actually really good. Definitely recommend if you get like cracked dry hands in the winter time but we're gonna head here first and then I think we're probably gonna head into Manhattan um, we'll probably go to like Goodwill gotcha. maybe a Beacon's closet there um, I don't know we're just gonna kind of play it by ear but I'm also hungry because it's already like 11 and we haven't ate anything but the thrift stores here don't open until 11 on the weekend or is it all weekdays I don't know. know. Thrift stores here open so late ever since COVID but anyways let's get in and see what we can find So I just found this Lululemon jacket. It's a little pricey, but I think I'm gonna get it for my mom. I think she would love the color, and I love the like floral detail. It's also on the back, too. It's really cool. Also, this blazer might be a little big on me. It's Princess Polly, but I love the color, so I might try it on and maybe go for like an oversized look. And then I'm kind of debating on this matkage coat. It has these cool leather sleeves, but it's definitely a little pricier than I would like to pay. One of my favorite Buffalo Exchange finds of all time is this Hervé Léger dress. Seriously, insane. This might be the coolest one I've ever seen. I mean, look at this. It literally cinches in the back. So freaking cool. back in the car from Buffalo Exchange and we did so good. I'm like mind blown. We spent so much money, but we got so many things. I must have gotten like four or five Ghani dresses that were half off. What else? We got so many. He got a pair of Balenciaga sneakers. Yeah, want to see it. Quick, quick peek. <laughs> they still have the box and everything. Are they yeah. new or they're just like new? Yeah, they're like, they're just like new, but they're, they're amazing. They're really nice. They're like a gray leather. Very cool. Very cool. Um, so now I think we're gonna go grab some lunch. It's about 12.30 and then head downtown. We may just like go ahead and head in the city and just get lunch there. But hopefully the day continues being this good because so far it's amazing. And I usually assume like thrifting on Saturdays wouldn't be great considering everybody's off. But I also feel like if you get an early enough start, you can really find some good deals. So let's keep the day going strong. So far we're off to a great start. So 
update on the lunch situation. I tried to walk into Ruby's and get us a table, but they said it was gonna be an hour and a half wait, which is so crazy. So instead we just placed an order online and we're gonna go pick it up. It should be ready in like less than 20 minutes. So looking forward to that. Absolutely love Ruby's. Wish we could have got a table, but I think because it's so freezing outside, nobody's eating outside. So they only have their indoor seating and it's also like 1 p.m. on a Saturday. So I guess that's what you expect. Oh look, it's a little golden. <laughs> guys acquired the goods ready to eat lunch we're just gonna eat in the car because like i said we couldn't get a table oh my god this is a mess <laughs> they do have the best what do you call this what can i think of it aioli yeah, truffle aioli yeah. sauce for the fries and the fries are also so good so they gave us a bunch though i don't know why they gave us so much we have like three of them you want one yeah um spencer got a sandwich what kind of sandwich did you get? Like a breakfast? It was a DLT, sandwich. but with avocado. Yum. And I got a chicken sandwich. Their chicken sandwiches are so good. I used to get um, their pasta here, which is really good too. If you guys ever come to New York or if you live here and you aren't eating at Ruby's, you're doing it wrong. You need to go. It's so good. And usually it's better throughout the week. You can usually get a table, but I'm about to eat. Let me just show you guys how good this is. Like, it's gonna be hard. I'm probably gonna spill it all. But like, come on. Yeah, let me show you my sandwich. Delicious. It looks so good. Look at this. Wow. Okay. But anyways, we're going to eat this and then probably head to Beacons because we want to get there before they get too busy considering it's Saturday. But we're going to eat fast. finding much at all i have a feeling it's just really picked through being later on a saturday there's just nothing I'm not even finding any like maybes i'm just seriously <laughs> having no luck i think spencer only found one thing in his form so so the only thing i found is this the vampire's wife with h and m dress it's really cool it's like a velvet dress long sleeves ruffles at the bottom and a bow here and we had like a cape that sold right away so i think we're gonna get it because the other one sold so fast spencer found this nice Blazer for himself, it's Burberry. Yeah, it's it looks really nice on you. I'm surprised how well it fit. I know, that's really nice. But other than that, that's all we're finding, so I'm sure we'll be heading out soon. So they have a couple Mackage coats, but they're all marked up quite a bit. This one's 110. It doesn't even have leather on it or anything. Not even cashmere, so I'm not sure why it's so much, but. Okay, but I did just find this one, which is a little bit less for some reason. I'm kind of surprised because it has like a leather belt leather trim and then even on the back it has this like leather paneling which is really cool so I think we're gonna go ahead and get this one and this has to be one of the cutest IMG tops I've ever seen I love it so cute for the summer gotta love when you get a spot right in front of the Goodwill that's how you know it's gonna be a good day I have a good feeling Alright, just started going through the dresses. Pretty excited about this Aritzia Babaton dress find. I did also find a few things. Nothing too exciting. Just stuff like on the putback rack that I guess people didn't get because it didn't fit them. Otherwise, I don't know why they put them back. But hey, better for me, right? <laughs> Guys, look how stunning this Byron Lars dress is. It's so pretty. It has all these different floral patterns. Strapless. So gorgeous. Definitely getting this. And I'm also really happy about this fine. The dress is so cute. It's like a floral mini dress. It's like cinching detail here. 
super cute, perfect for the spring and summertime, which hopefully will be coming sooner rather than later because it's freezing today. They're funny. All right, so that is gonna be all for our last stop of thrifting for the last two days. Overall, I think we did really good yeah, and we got some happy. amazing things. I would definitely say the best was yesterday at Beacons and actually no, probably Buffalo Exchange this morning was really good. Um, but we did get some nice things in this last store. I will say the cashier here is the sweetest woman oh, ever. She's so nice. But some of the other employees are not very friendly. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, it was good. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this thrift with me, though. Please give it a thumbs up down below if you did. And let me know if you want to see more thrift with me's or maybe like a thrift haul or whatever content you guys want to see. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next vlog. Bye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's planning up to see her